With these Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hello, my name is Dr. David Klee, and welcome to another Pro Minute. Today we're going to talk about uh, advanced techniques on proper alignment of the flute. This is geared more towards the music educator and or the flute teacher. Uh, proper alignment is very important and very critical for superior flute playing. And the first thing you should always look for is the main body of the flute. How is the student holding that? Is it like this, like this, or like this? Preferably the way it should be, if you think of this as, as a geometric plane, if I put, put my hand like this, as I move the flute up or down, you see how the plane is changing. Preferably, the way it should be, when a flutist plays the flute, the plane should be pretty much parallel to the floor. Shouldn't be too much this way, too much that way, because for obvious reasons, it's affecting the hand position. So when a student plays a flute, plane-wise, it should be approximately like this. And then the other thing is this alignment here. Um, preferably, the head joint the blowhole of the head joint should be pretty much in key with the center of these keys. Be slight variabilities depending upon the embouchure, but it's very important that that's, you know, sort of in the ballpark because again, if it's rolled one way too far or this way, it's going to affect this. And then lastly, the foot joint should be approximately in the center of these keys. And again, the final adjustment comes with how long the little pinky is on the student. You adjust it where works. It's important that this is adjusted last. So you should always adjust the three main fingers in the right hand and then you adjust the foot joint to fit your pinky because you don't want them doing any of this when they're trying to use the foot joint. And then lastly on alignment of the flute, it's very important. Uh, typically when I do clinics and I go to do a flute section, you usually have 20 flute players jamming this little semicircle and they've got them <clears throat> behind the, the chair of the next flute player. So they look something like this. The flute's up against them. It's behind the next chair. And if you look at the right hand, look how horrible that is. So what I teach is this. For proper alignment purposes, if you think of your shoulders as a line, the flute should be 45 degrees out from this right shoulder. Should not be parallel should be 45 degrees out. What happens is this. See, now all of a sudden I've got perfect hand position. I've got perfect alignment. Nothing is too far this way, that way. If I start pulling it back, look what happens. My right hand gets scrunched up. The left hand now, I'm, I'm having to pull it down because I ran out of length in my left hand. But if I put it back 45 degrees, here we go. So what I typically do, uh, I tell young flute players, they say, well, Dr. Clay, then my flute's sticking out of the music stand. I go, no. I said, take your chair, move it backwards, you know, to the right, 45 degrees, and what will happen, you're actually sitting like this, but you're still facing your music stand. And it works out perfectly. And then the last thing I have them do is, you know, they're holding the flute. How far up should they hold it? Should it be like this? Actually, that's not normal. That's not healthy. This is not healthy. Uh, I would think of relaxed shoulders. Everything is relaxed. You bring your flute up. If there's a slight bend in it, that is fine. You want everything relaxed. In fact, you want everything so relaxed, if I were to, somebody were to grab my right hand and just hold it to my flute, they would find my left hand arm is just hanging from my shoulder. It's so relaxed. Consequently, the same thing with my left arm. You know, here's my right hand, my left arm, and then this should be hanging. You don't want this, you don't want this against your body. I go out 45 degrees, and they're just relaxed. All of this is relaxed. This is what's important. So in review, you think of the geometric plane, not too far one way or the other. You think of the flute being held not parallel to the floor, but, you know, something like that. 45 degrees out, you think of the alignment of the mouthpiece, main body, foot joint, and then all of a sudden you're going to find a lot of the flu problems your student, flu students are having, they'll dissipate and they will go away. 
So I think you might want to try these tips. I think you'll find that it'll really improve your flute section, improve their technique, and it'll sure look a lot better. This is Dr. David Clay, and thank you.